Hi, I'm Ian Borga, the Ward 5 City Councilor, and this is the last Ward 5 in 10 with me. Yes, I want to wish everybody a happy holiday season and a happy new year. This is my guest, Jeffrey Thompson, your new Ward 5 City Councilor after January 6th, unless he changes his mind. <laughs> no, <laughs> just kidding. So we're going to cover a few things, 774-297-4939. And A Beauregard, B E A U R E G A R D at C O B M A dot U S. Okay, since the last time I saw you, we had a terrific parade downtown. All right, holiday parade. If you guys didn't get to stand out there in the cold and watch it, you can see it on uh, Broughton Community Access with wonderful manager Mike here running the um, production operation here. Okay, what else has happened? Let's see. We had Lynn Smith's annual the night before Christmas event. Again, all these things were free, okay? You don't have to break the bank. And let's remember something else we had in Ward 5 that no other ward can say they had. And that was the 125th anniversary of the historical City Hall. And again, that was a free event where you could eat a cake that looked just like City Hall. Um, and pretty impressive. I'd like to thank Montilio Bakery for all they did for that. And again, for Lynn Smith for mobilizing that incredible event. But... What else is new? When you have great volunteers in the city, you have great things happening. So let's talk about the great things that have happened. Hopefully you've had a wonderful Thanksgiving. And we do want to emphasize, if some of you are challenged during this time of year, that we sincerely hope you reach out to the various agencies in this city. Remember, it's not the city that does this. It's the agencies in the city that not only help the people in Brockton, but all the surrounding communities, because we're the only city in Plymouth County, and we have all these services that people need. So I'm going to uh, begin here by saying, especially for you seniors, the Council on Aging, very important to take advantage of their services. They had a wonderful holiday party, and there was a lot of dancing that went on, and Santa Claus came too. Okay, again, I'm Ian Beauregard, the Ward 5 City Councilor, and this is Jeff to my right, and he'll be yakking away to you in a little while here about some new things. So let's talk about here. This is um, over, I think I've had over 45 of these um, Ward 5s and 10s. Okay, we're going to have the holidays going on. This is very important, people, to either call City Hall at 508-580-7123 or check on the city's website, www.brockton.ma.us. And the reason being is there's going to be different hours and days and stuff with uh, the schools closing on Friday, December 20th. So, yes, everybody, you're going to have the young ones for a little while longer than you normally do. Okay, I want to congratulate the teams that have done really well in their past season. And we also, again, want to congratulate many people that were able to celebrate 50 years in the 1969 Broughton High graduation. So uh, thank you here. So like I said, let's check off some things that are going on. First of all, we had the dedication of our late mayor, Bill Carpenter, on uh, last Thursday, December 5th. We had a lot of company, people from all over, recognizing that uh, this was named after the late mayor, and it will be open in January. They're taking care of the different, um, how would I say, it, computer aspects of it, because it's very interesting. You'll be able to go in and out of this garage anytime, and it'll all be read on your driver's license plate number. Isn't that pretty interesting? Yeah, and the computer here. So we have, uh, this is going to open. We have that spectacular mural that highlights a lot of the achievements of Broughton. So again, like I said, a whole lot happening here. I wanted to highlight, too, that the Chamber had their 106th annual meeting. And do you know the Chamber was started because a group of people had businesses that had nothing to do with the shoe industry and they wanted to be represented. But what we wanted to highlight was the guest speaker, a gentleman named Bill Cummings, who became a billionaire after all his hard work and has decided to donate his um, money when he's no longer with us. And uh, he has the Cummings Foundation, C-U-M-M-I-N-G-S Foundation, and uh, they are very prepared to uh, and consider various programs that exist in our community and reviewing them. So that's, that's an opportunity a lot of you would like. We also want to thank the Garden Club for their spectacular decor all through the city. Again, done by volunteers. And speaking of which, if we want to celebrate volunteers and a whole lot of good stuff, there are still tickets, lots of tickets available for the gala. This is a ball that will be taking place on Saturday evening, 
December 14th. So if you feel like getting dressed up and going to City Hall on a Saturday night, sounds so funny when you say that, to super music, super food, and a lot of fun. Tickets are $50 each. And uh, the, the proceeds will go to various um, programs for substance abuse and treatment that take place in this city. So again, we want to um, highlight that. That is uh, Saturday, December 14th. Again, I'm Ann Borga, the Ward 5 City Councilor. And as I start winding down here, I wanted to make sure there's a ton of holiday concerts, whether they're at Brockton High or at East Middle, I mean, the talent is all over the place, and you get to see our young people in a positive light, which is generally all the time. Those of you that do a lot of shopping and then want a little job after the holiday season need to realize there's plenty of census jobs available, and you can check it out on, online, or you can go to City Hall and find out more about it. One of the other things that we were able to celebrate on this uh, month here was a couple of businesses came into Brockton or are coming in and of course I always think food so um, we're, we have a, someone that's interested in doing I think this is great too these energy drinks and what have you inside the the former Lambert's Plaza that's under new ownership and this young couple wants to serve energy drinks and smoothies and all that good stuff so we should see their doors open soon and around the block from there the intersection of Center and uh, Quincy, we're looking at um, having a mother and daughter Caribbean food restaurant. I mean, things are popping up all over in Ward 5. So I'm going to leave this in a wonderful shape for Jeffrey here. Now, uh, none of this happened without a lot of great people being involved, and we're grateful for them. And we're really grateful for all the hard work that the volunteers do on all the boards and commissions, which I have talked to you about in the past and will continue to talk about. I invite you to be part of the community. You own this. You can't sell Brockton on eBay, and it can't have a yard sale. So check it out. There's boards and commissions looking for your talent, your skills, and your passions. You can submit a letter of interest, your resume, and it's just amazing. And the people you meet and the things you'll do. So I want to highlight a couple of things because we want to make sure we are aware that the taxes will be going up, not because we raise them, but because your houses, again, are worth more than when you bought them. So on that note, we realize that some people might want to be looking at abatements. This is the time now to begin investigating that. Again, call City Hall at 508 580-7123, I should specify 8.30 to 4.30, Monday through Friday, and they can direct you to the proper location or con contact the Council on Aging. I always encourage you seniors to be part of that. They just do so much there, they have so much fun, but they provide a lot of information. And those of you who are going through situations that you wish you weren't going through, I always talk about my friend Ron Freddy at the District Court at um, 215 Main Street in room 207, and you can reach him at 508-897-2868, and him and his team, they also have interpreters, uh, will be able to help you with various challenges should you find yourselves in them. Okay, so I wish I could, I, I can't believe how fast four years went, and I will be part of the community. Um, but I um, will have a different, you know, how would I say, position. And I will be introducing you momentarily to Jeff. But I wanted to make sure, too, that people realize when they have the kids at home to check out the library's website, www.brockenpubliclibrary.org, okay? There's all kinds of um, museum passes, et cetera, that you can think about taking the kids over the long holiday break this year. It's kind of funny how it, you know, it depends on when Christmas falls, how long these things happen. Okay. Meanwhile, again, in Beauregard, 774-297-4939, a Beauregard at cobma.us. I feel like a couple of things we've done, and one of them is I told you I'd be transparent and educate and empower. I invited you. We had many Ward 5 meetings. We will continue to discuss many things in Ward 5. Again, as I say, we always encourage you to speak up, show up, um, and again, because you own this. We want to celebrate all kinds of different things that are going to be taking place in the city in the months to come. And one of them is going to be the swearing in 
of uh, Jeffrey Thompson here, who is a Brockton boy, born and raised, and he served in our military. And I'm going to let Jeffrey talk about himself a little bit and let him know when he starts being available for you. And again, I'm still there till January 7th. <laughs> thank you. Right. Yes. Thank you, Wayne. <laughs> okay, sir. And uh, I'd like to uh, thank you for your service to Ward 5. It's been, uh, it, you know, it's been a pleasure working with you over thank the last you. few years. Uh, through my position on the zoning, <coughs> excuse me, on the zoning board and license, yeah. and the licensing committee, uh, you, you've been a fantastic representative for Ward Five, and I, I, I just want to thank you for your service. Let everybody realize that I did not pay him to say this. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> right? Thank you. So uh, I just want to let you right. introduce <coughs> people a little bit, talk about your your, right. your your background, your family, your business, and. Uh, well, you know, some ideas you have, yeah. Sure. Um, my name is Jeffrey Thompson. I am the uh, Ward 5 Councilor-Elect. I will be sworn in on uh, January 6th. And then at that point forward, uh, for the next two years, it will be my honor and pleasure to represent the, the, the fine citizens of Ward 5. Um, I'm looking forward to the challenge, uh, to the job. <clears throat> and I'm, I'm looking forward to providing, uh, continuing to provide Ward 5 effective representation. Uh, quickly about myself and uh, least, the subject I least like talking about. But um, <clears throat> as Ann said, I'm born and raised uh, here on the east side of Brockton. I reside here now with my wife and our three daughters. <clears throat> I was uh, a student uh, at Sacred Heart Elementary. <laughs> Then I uh, went to uh, Cardinal Spellman for two years and then finally graduated from Brockton High in 95. Uh, shortly after my graduation, I decided to enlist in the United States Navy. That took me to the West Thank Coast. You. Yeah, yeah, it was my pleasure. Uh, it took me to the West Coast of, uh, of the country and I served uh, active duty for seven years. Uh, during that time, I was able to uh, chip away at my undergrad. By the time I uh, finished my enlistment, I was able to transfer to San Diego State University where I gained my uh, bachelor's degree in political science. Uh, shortly after I gained my bachelor's degree, I made the decision to return to Brockton. Um, so I, I did return to Brockton and I uh, attended law school at New England Law Boston where I uh, graduated with my Juris Doctorate in uh, 2010. Uh, since that time, I've been working as a, uh, an attorney here in Brockton, where my office is on North Montello Street. I've been there for the past decade, uh, working in the fields of <clears throat> personal injury, uh, uh, civil litigation, um, family law, and uh, immigration law. So those are the fields that I practice. Um, <clears throat> so uh, moving forward, uh, it is my intent to be as open and as transparent and as uh, accessible as possible. I believe my, uh, my, my skill set as an attorney is um, readily transferable uh, to that as a city councilor. Uh, I've been in the business of uh, problem solving and constituent services uh, for the past decade. So um, I, I, I plan to continue uh, doing that um, on behalf of the citizens of uh, Ward 5. Uh, to go over a few of the things that you were speaking about, Anne, um, I encourage everybody who has the opportunity to attend the 125th anniversary gala this Saturday at uh, City Hall. From my understanding, uh, each level of City Hall is gonna have a, a different theme. So I'm looking nice. forward to uh, what it's gonna look like. Uh, I know it's gonna be spectacular. Um, Don't for, doubt that, yeah. For those who have not yet been to our City Hall or haven't been there for a while, what an amazingly beautiful building that is. Uh, the, the, the architecture, um, both inside and out, the pictures, uh, the pictures are amazing. Uh, great view, uh, great depictions of uh, <clears throat> the Civil War and, and uh, the Revolutionary War it's and um, just, just a lot of uh, wonderful, amazing uh, pictures at City Hall. <clears throat> and I'm really looking forward to what the decoration's gonna look like. I, every floor, different, uh, different theme. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, also, uh, you, you mentioned that Shake Emporium uh, over at the uh, Lambert's yes. lot. Um, actually, it's already open. Yes, <clears throat> yeah, they were. And I've, uh, I've, I've visited it, and the shakes were amazing. Um, <laughs> and, it, and it's funny, you get two shakes. So you get a, a uh, your first shake is like a, 
more tea type of shake and that um, you can put different things in for digestion or that's what I chose. So to <laughs> kind of cool. like calming or digestion. And then the second shake was more of your protein power shake, which was uh, fruit, you know, fruit nice. based. Oh. Delicious. Well, I certainly want to check them yeah, out. So yes. So they're, they're great over there. Check them out. Um, you'll have a good time. Um, also, again, uh, over at Next to Flows, or at the corner of um, North Quincy and, uh, and Center Street, uh, there will be before the zoning board tonight a, a special permit uh, to allow for the opening of a uh, Haitian-Caribbean uh, establishment with a uh, mother-daughter duo there. And, uh, you know, I, I think that is the strength of our city is our culture. And uh, so I'm really looking forward to there being... Um, uh, more more uh, options for food uh, in Brockton and a, a Haitian Caribbean um, themed restaurant uh, sounds wonderful and I can't wait for it to open. Um, I don't know, Ann, maybe you could well, we'll toss me a question. Or... Toss you a question? Well, I'm, not, I'm not gonna put you on the spot okay. here. Um, no, I, I know <coughs> that Jeffrey will be settling in and I certainly will be there, you know, to call, you know, help him along. I'm very excited. We're very, very lucky to have Jeffrey come in. And one of the things is it's great that he's highlighting our culture because he celebrates it. He's more the athlete than I was. He coached teams. I want to clear that. I never did that. And uh, we both celebrate Broughton. Funny, we both went to Sacred Heart. We both graduated from Broughton I. We both came from the east side. Yep. I just did it 20 years <laughs> earlier than he did. But um, I'm excited about this because one of the reasons I said I would only run two terms is because we wanted to empower others. We wanted to get a mix here. So we want young people. We want people who have served our nation. We want people that have come in with different educational backgrounds and everything. And I just think it's exciting. And he gets it because he has kids in school, so he knows yep. what it's like to run around. And he knows how vital it is to participate in the community. So Jeffrey is going to be doing his Ward 5 and 10 or whatever he chooses to call it, come, you know, after the holiday season. And as I close up here, because I want to thank Jeffrey for being our guest, and um, what's great, too, is Jeffrey's in business for himself, so sometimes he'll be able to pop over at something at 10 o'clock in the morning that's right. necessary or 2 in the afternoon where some other city councils don't quite have that flexibility. Yes. And I want, I want to emphasize that. And um, what I also want to emphasize in a more sense to people, it's winter. I can't believe we already had a snowstorm. Uh, please, people, snow removal. You already know about the parking ban. You already know about the snow emergency. Please, they did 112 cars got ticketed the last time around. Okay, people? Please, we're not trying to be difficult here. Fire engines have got to be able to get to the street, yes. uh, down the street, and this is serious, and be able to get to your fire hydrant. So if anybody has a fire hydrant on their property, you know, kind of a little shovel a little bit, and um, because that leads me to the final thing here, smoke detectors. People, check your smoke detectors and keep your batteries in, because unfortunately it seems that that's, and we hear about more. Let's hope that we have a safe winter season. Let's remember our neighbors that are a little more shut in. Let's remember your smoke detectors, and let's remember most of all to have a happy, safe holiday season. Best of luck. And if I could yeah. just, Absolutely. sorry, sorry. Um, just uh, thinking about a few more things, and I just want to make yeah. sure that, uh, that people are aware of, of my intent to keep this line of communication uh, right. continuing forward. Uh, I will be doing uh, some BCA uh, new, um, war, war, Ward 5 and 10 type of uh, episodes. Um, I also, it is my intent to hold as many ward meetings as possible. Um, it is my, uh, ward 5 covers a lot of area. Um, it's not just the neighborhoods um, along the Abington and Whitman lines, it's also the downtown area. So uh, ward 5 is a very big district. Um, some of the things that are in Ward 5 that I believe are going to be coming down in the pipeline that I want to be a, a leader on and, uh, and communicate to you uh, the processes of what's going on in those areas is the CSX property um, and the uh, Christos property, yeah. um, the, the Massasoit Christos area. So uh, those, those are two issues that are going to be flushed out over the next few years. Um, I'm going to expect uh, a lot of community participation 
uh, when it comes to the uh, development of these areas. This is your neighborhood. Um, so whatever it does eventually end up uh, in that area, it's important that uh, the people of Ward 5 have a voice in it. And I will make sure that uh, I, I'll facilitate uh, your voices being heard um, uh, in the process of development of these two important um, uh, parcels of land. Um, I also, my, my plan is to um, develop different lines of communication with the, uh, with the residents of Ward 5. Now, social media is always a, a, a good uh, avenue to um, put out announcements, put out emergencies, um, to uh, facilitate conversation. Um, so that's something that I will uh, continue doing. Uh, I will make sure that uh, when I am sworn in, that uh, I, when I have one of these Ward uh, 5, what do you call them? Ward, Ward 5 and 10, Ward yep. 5 and 10. Uh, when I have one of these, that uh, I can get that information out to everybody. Uh, also, my email address. I'm a, uh, um, um, an avid emailer. And also my phone number. Uh, some of those things have not yet set up because uh, they do not um, get set up until uh, I'm sworn in. So I want to make sure I give you all of that information. Um, <clears throat> I'm looking forward to these next two years. This is going to be a, a really exciting time for me. Um, I, I, I have the passion, I have the energy, I believe I have the skill set to be an effective ward counselor, and I'm looking forward to working with all of you to really uh, make Brockton a, a, a better community for your family and mine. Um, and just uh, my mind is always jumbled, but um, lastly, I think one of the big things that we are going to deal with in uh, Ward 5 are our infrastructure issues. Mm -hmm. um, I have uh, had some preliminary conversations uh, with the uh, commissioner, the DPW, and uh, we're um, basically in the beginning of putting together a plan to, uh, to, to really address the water infrastructure, the water and sewer infrastructure on the east side. Um, before we can repair a lot of the roads that are in dire need of repair, we have to first uh, take care of our water infrastructure. Once that is uh, taken care of, then we can start uh, paving some of the roads in Ward 5. Uh, that is going to be, uh, I believe, my main priority over this next two-year period, and I hope that uh, we will all see some advancement on that over the next few years and uh, some of these roads uh, really getting, um, getting addressed. So, again, thank you, Ann, and you've You're been welcome. a fantastic city councilor. <laughs> And uh, you know we're 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 gonna miss you, but I know you're not going anywhere. And well, so so um, I'm sure we'll 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 see you often. Well, thank you. See see what you get. There's a happy New Year. What a nice Christmas present, huh? A really hardworking person. So we we get things going here. So everybody have a safe and wonderful New Year. And I hope you think about making a New Year's commitment to getting more involved in your community. Thank happy, you. Happy holidays. Thank you.